Hey howdy hey partners, today we're going to talk about some brand new Woody doll stands that I got. Let's get into it. You're watching Today I Grew Up. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell as we're on our way to 100,000 subs. Partners, I'm really excited to be back again. I found some movie accurate Woody doll stands from Etsy. I was talking to a good friend of mine named Daryl on Facebook. He referred me to this seller on Etsy called the BMR Closet. I got in contact with Carolyn who runs the shop and I was able to tell her, hey, can you make me some stands for 16 inch Woody? That's how tall he is. And I got the stands and I gotta say, I am blown away by the craftsmanship. So if you look at the movie still, you can see that Woody in Big Al's display cases, he sat on a very like wire type metal stand that's very vintage looking and it held Woody up in a display case. It was just like this metal bar. So I kind of wanted to get something close to that. And I always was searching the internet for stuff. And I finally found this uh, person on Etsy who was able to custom make a vintage style stand. So it's more movie accurate. Here you see my JC Elva movie accurate Woody. And here you see my Woody version 2.0. And soon I'm gonna do a Woody version 3.0. But I wanna show you these stands and just how great they are. It is a wire metal stand. It's meant to kind of go underneath his armpits like the movie to hold him up. It is a thin wire, but it's very sturdy and not cheap. It doesn't fall over or bend. Unless you really put a lot of pressure on it, it won't bend. The stand itself is this wooden material painted black because that's what I requested. I wanted black. And it is a wire that's stuck down there, which I can talk about in a little bit. Basically, you can adjust the wire if you wanted to, because that's what I did. These wire stands do hold Woody really well. These are awesome because they go well with my Movie Accurate custom mods. Originally, this is the stand that I had for my Movie Accurate Woody. It was uh, custom made. Basically, I got this on eBay. It was a vintage doll stand. And then what I did is I got the wire because it was silver. So I got duct tape and I made it look black like the movie but it started peeling the tape didn't stay and also it's not movie accurate because it splits into two wires instead of just one single wire like it's supposed to in the movie so basically i don't want to use this stand anymore so that's why i really wanted to get these to replace that so i'm not going to be using this stand anymore so this one is definitely an awesome replacement now the collection stand that we get from thinkway toys it's not bad but I feel like it's not movie accurate. This is more movie accurate. So this I'm definitely going to still keep because I need them to display some of the woodies. For example, my Cloud Pattern 2009 Woody. I'm going to keep him on his Thinkway Toys stand because he's not modded and he's from factory. I'm going to keep him that way. So I'm just going to keep him on his stand. Now this is the Woody I'm going to make into a Woody 3.0 movie accurate mod. I will be putting him on one of these stands. So that'll work. I do have to confess when I got this stand, it was a little bit too tall and Woody's boots dangled way too high up. So what I had to do was get these pliers, put it at the base, pull it up a little bit. The metal had to come out here at the bottom. And then what I did was get wire cutters and cut the extra wire. So then I was able to height adjust it. So what's really cool is that if you measure a Woody right, you'll get the right size. I just asked for 16 inch, but I realized I should have measured it better, but there's no problem. I was able to mod it and you can see that they stay on their stands just fine. So I really highly recommend these stands. I think even with shipping included, it ended up only costing me about $10 a stand. She's based out of Utah in the United States of America. So I don't know what she does for international shipping. You'd have to ask her in her Etsy shop, but just look at this Woody. He stays really well on the stand and the stand's almost invisible. Like the black wire is just so thin and skinny that it's like, whoa, kind of disappears behind Woody there. But it's really cool because it's very sturdy. As you can see, I am rotating this space. He's not falling off. He's standing just like he was in the display case for Toy Story 2. So this is really, really amazing. It's just like the little things that make me excited about custom Toy Story toys. And this vintage doll stand replica is just, it's amazing and I'm blown away. I really love the way it looks. For all the partners asking where I put my movie accurate Woody and Buzz on display over here, it is to the right of my collection over here. I put them here on the side in front of my closet because I'm running out of room here, to be honest. And here is where I put them in the display cases. And you can see here, here's my JC Alva Woody now on his wire. 
uh, vintage display stand, which is more movie accurate. And then you have my latest Woody 2.0 mod with his new wire stand. As you can see, the wooden base just sits down there. It looks great. And Woody looks awesome in his display case with the wire around his arms, just like we see it in the movie when Big L has them on his shelf. So I'm really excited for this. It just looks amazing. Let me know your thoughts below on this display setup. So let me know in the comment section below, are you interested in buying these from Etsy for yourself? Go message Carolyn, she's really sweet, really nice, and she can make any custom color you want and size. You just need to talk to her about it. Let her know today I up sent you. And yeah, it would be great if you were able to add these to your collection. I think these look great for any movie accurate woodies I have. So I'm really excited for that. As always, partners, we're on our way to 100,000 subs. You want to help support me to get that silver plate button. All you got to do is hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, so you're later for future videos on this channel. And I'll see you, partners, on the next video review. You are the real Buzz Lightyear. You're a, now you're an accent faker. You are a sad, 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 strange little man. You are a sad, 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 strange little man. That might be you are a child plaything. Hey, him. Look, I'm Picasso. I don't get it.